What's up guys? So as you can tell, I'm in the uh, back of my truck right now. And I've decided I want to try something a little different today. I want to uh, show you guys how I cook in the in the back of the truck. Or uh, I think I, I want to do like a whole series on it. Maybe call it Meals on Wheels. I think that has a, a good ring to it. Uh, but just, I like cooking in my truck. And I think it's a good habit to, to get into, especially if I'm, I'm making videos for you guys. Kind of uh, gives me more drive to keep cooking in the truck. But um, I guess I'm just going to play around, see what kind of meals I can make, and uh, put them up here for you guys, and hopefully you enjoy them. But today, I've got my uh, GoPro set up, and I've got my, um, my, my phone. So I'm going to go ahead and break out the... Uh, the ingredients and everything and let you guys know what I'm going to make uh, and it's all going to be on a uh, one of the copper tone pans that you'll see in the video it's uh, it's got its own like little uh, griddle stand so it's super easy to do inside the truck and um, let's see if we can uh, get creative and see what we can make all right so first thing we got we have some uh, Uncle Ben's ready rice we got the whole grain brown I bought some frozen corn, some frozen peas, some baby lima beans, and broccoli, along with a bag of carrots. So really what I want to do here, I think I'm just going to put it all in the pan, mix it up, and uh, you know, pretty much everything just needs to be heated, and uh, I'm gonna keep it in there long enough, obviously, for the broccoli to get uh, cooked thoroughly. But I think it's gonna be good. It looks like it has plenty of vegetables in it. It should be fairly healthy. Um, I may add up all the calories later and actually see how much it's gonna be. But I this should make. There's two servings in the uh, the rice, so I'm probably gonna put two of everything in it and then uh, divvy it up later. And that way, uh, that way I can eat it tomorrow too. Uh, I've also got some chicken in the fridge. It's uh, the pre-cooked. Let's see here. It's actually in the freezer, so it's the. Tyson's grilled and ready oven roasted chicken so I might put some of that in there and depending on how I feel I might throw in some eggs as well maybe put one or two eggs in there and make it uh, a little heartier all right so I've already got everything cleaned and prepped I've got the uh, the cutting board here and my uh, knife so I'm gonna go ahead and start chopping up some vegetables. I think I'm gonna cut the carrots into like little three inch pieces. I'm gonna put it on uh, the GoPro and let y'all see what I'm doing there. Obviously, I am not a chef. I don't have any cooking experience, but it's something I like to do. Um, you know, it's a healthier option than eating inside the restaurants, even though, you know, sometimes I may cook something that's not healthy, but I don't know. It's always it's an op option that you have in the truck, and uh, a lot of people think, you know, it's hard to find food or fresh food, or you know, you can't do it when you're a truck driver. You have to eat out, and that's not the case. I mean, a lot of times it is hard to get the groceries, but it's it doesn't have to be. I mean, I think if you get on the right track, you can easily uh, uh, start doing it regularly and uh, make you like a little schedule. So let's get chopping. Alright, so we got that done. 
gonna go ahead and set up our uh, little griddle thing. Uh, and I went ahead, as I was chopping that, I just went ahead and put the broccoli and the, um, the carrots straight into here. And now I think I'm going to uh, you know, add a couple pieces of chicken. And like I said, this is gonna be two meals. So I'm just gonna do a handful. And uh, I feel like that should be plenty. I also have Ziploc bags is what I'm going to put the, uh, the rest of the food in once I'm, I'm done with it. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and start this. The rice doesn't take very long at all to cook. And I like my uh, carrots and broccoli a little brown. And then the chicken is, uh, like I said, pre-cooked. But it's frozen, so uh, it might take a little bit longer to, to do. But uh, one of the main reasons I like this setup is because all you have to do is... Uh, hang on one second. Uh, all you got to do is put a lid on it, and that keeps everything in. All right, guys. So we've got that uh, that cooking right now. The the broccoli, the uh, carrots, and the chicken. So uh, hopefully it doesn't take too long. It's fairly simple. Uh, you know, I'm gonna let it. I like them kind of. I guess you'd call them grilled. You know, where it's uh, a little colored and uh, on all the sides, and then just soft all the way through. But uh. So that's what I'm going for now. I've got the, uh, the what's that thing called? Oh, I've got the uh, time lapse going now, so y'all will be able to see that. And uh, really, after this gets pretty much done, I'm gonna slap in the, uh, the uh, frozen vegetables that I have, let those cook in with the rice. And if I need to, I might add some water, but uh, since they're frozen, maybe, uh, maybe I don't have to, but like I said, I'm not a chef. I'm just making this stuff up as I go. Uh, I do cook in the truck pretty regularly. Uh, when I do, when I am doing it, I do pretty regularly. But there's times where, uh, you know, I might go a whole month without cooking anything in the truck. And, uh, you know, it's just because either I didn't go shopping before I left home or, you know, I just never got into back into the groove. And, uh, you know, I, I just lose my way, but it is pretty simple. Uh, it does take a little bit of time. So, I mean, but you got 10 hours to kill them, you know, sleep eight, do this, clean up, and uh, just get everything you need done. But guys so it's probably getting a little close let's take a look here yeah it's looking pretty good it's getting a little a little cooked on the edges hopefully I didn't burn any but I do see some uh, some browning on the bottom of the pan but I should be good I'm gonna go ahead and uh, throw in the rice and the frozen vegetables so let's do that real fast hope my hands not in the way like I said I've never done one of these videos before just trying it out uh, but I am pretty excited about it like I said I like doing this kind of stuff and if I'm doing it you know I might as well show it and uh, after opening these bags of veggies I'm gonna go ahead and put them inside of a uh, ziploc bags 
and that should give me a little bit more room in my freezer as well so that's a plus there put some peas in there I love peas Oh yeah, that's looking good. So this is pretty much just a big mixture of fresh and frozen vegetables. And this giant bag of brown rice has Three hundred and eighty calories. I'm gonna add a little bit of water just because the rice calls for some. I'm also uh, gonna mix it in a little bit. Possibly, I might decide to wait. Nah, let's do it. And then, uh, now nah, I bought the cheapest spatula they had at Walmart, so I think it was like 88 cents. So it's not the best, but definitely gets the job done. You gotta be careful in here too, guys, because you'll definitely make a mess if you're not careful. I just had a little bit of rice fall on the floor, but luckily it's a small space, so it's pretty easy to clean it all up as soon as you get done. Uh, it does take a little bit of time because you gotta wait for this to cool down a little bit, or at least I do. And then I use uh, wipes to clean it all up the uh, Lysol wipes and stuff but with this pandemic going around uh, it's kind of hard to find Lysol wipes so I'm running low, low on those but yeah I think that's looking good I'm, I'm pretty excited about it I have some uh, these dang lima beans are stuck together still though all right, Oop, let me chop that piece of rice up. It looks like I might have enough here to eat on for a few days. All right, so I think, let me see here. Bought some soy sauce as well. Uh, it was me doing the cheap thing. I bought the uh, the great value one, and they didn't have any low sodium. So luckily, I was able to get all the vegetables to fit in the fridge or in the freezer. So uh, at least I got low lower sodium there than. You know, if I would have bought the canned veggies like I normally do, so uh, I'm still learning, especially with all the the fresh foods and stuff. I'm still learning how much I can buy and how I should store it. I've thought about getting a uh, an extra fridge or a freezer, uh, one of the top loading ones. So we'll see. I don't know if I want it. It's gonna take up some room in here, so I don't know if I wanna do that. But as you can see here, I'm adding some soy sauce in here. Give it a little something to cook in. All right, well, I'm gonna uh, go ahead and cut this video off and pick back up once it's uh, done cooking. I should just have to let this set in here for a little while, stir it around, and uh, make sure it doesn't burn and get the rice nice and cooked. So uh, I'll cut back to it once that's done, and then uh, 
we'll go ahead and throw it on our plates and let's see how it tastes. All right, let's take a look here. I mean, that looks delicious to me. I don't, I don't know what you guys like, but especially like if you're a truck driver and you've been out for any amount of time, it can get old eating hamburgers and McDonald's french fries all the time, you know, so this might not look deliciously fattening and, you know, soaking in grease, but that looks delicious. I can't wait to eat it. I'm going to go ahead and yeah, let's go ahead and put it on a plate. Get a little bit of each. Put all my veggies. I'm a huge fan of broccoli, so I want to save some of that corn. Or not corn, uh, chicken. Don't look plate it like most people will do, but just go ahead and turn the heat off and it can just sit there and simmer. But there you have it. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a try and I'll see you guys after a while. That's delicious, guys. So, yeah, I think each bag of those vegetables were only 78 cents. So, I got three bags of vegetables. That's less than $3. That bag of rice, I'd like to say it was probably not more than $3. The broccoli, I'm not sure how much that was. Um, honestly, when I bought all the vegetables, I didn't really... Or all the groceries, I didn't really have uh, a plan on making any videos and you know I was sitting here just waiting my uh, load doesn't deliver till 11 tomorrow so I've got probably 20 hours until then but I mean look how much food that is and I probably have less than ten dollars in it and it'll probably feed me a couple meals at least so uh, if you like it uh, go ahead and like the video if you don't you know put that thumbs down uh, but I think I am gonna make uh, at least a few of these probably put it in its own little folder um, you know the first playlist is the the truck logs and then um, I'm gonna put this down as uh, Mills on Wheels and then uh, that way if you don't want to watch these and you want to watch the trucking vlogs then uh, you know you're not digging through everything you can just click on which playlist you want to look at and uh, watch the videos you find interesting but I hope you enjoy it like I said if you like it hit that like button and really help me out and uh, thanks for watching I'll see you guys later